Monday. Yo, yo, what's up from Zanze? It's Monday afternoon and we are all about that. Hashtag Game Monday Motivation Boss. Welcome to it. The biggest thing on your mama's television is officially landed. This is XAY on Cape Town TV. Exactly. Taking you all the way up until 4 p.m. We're all about inspiring you at home. I'm Lam Stella Jonas, but I know as Opotliki, and I'm joined by the so over ever gorgeous. She's Hello. of course Miss Zeta Wabantu. <laughs> Zeta Wabantu. You almost Zeta. said Zoda Wabantu. I know I, I almost they said look like Zoda Wabantu the Afro. Okay right now. <laughs> but hey, it's good to have you, man. You've Thank been you. gone MIA for a very long time. I'm back. Where have you been? You're back. I'm back. Okay. You know it. I'm all back. Alright, we're also actually glad to be back on your screens and I hope you guys are actually going to enjoy today's show. In case you didn't know, today's show is actually sponsored by the Learning Trust, which is um, a funding organization that actually supports individual emerging organizations and after-school programs in the Western Cape, Eastern Cape, and Gauteng. That sounds really cool, man. We all yeah. know the education system in Zant is not that good. So it's good to have um, 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 organizations such as the Learning Class to have our backs on. And they offer mentorship, um, training, and of course, ongoing coaching across Zanzi. Yep. And of course, they've established themselves as um, bringing transformation when it comes to after-school programs. And that is why today's show is actually all about the after-school programs and activities. While we'll tell you a whole lot about the after school activities later on on the show but let me get on the lineup today we are joined by Emmeline and Lynn and they're here to tell us about the Babatana program and the French work principles activity or maybe let me say network that has been running for the past six years six years is a yeah. long time and also later on the look out we're joined by Community University of South Africa they're here to tell us more about the amazing work they do with young people across Zanzi yep. so if you feel like your high school is not doing enough to prepare you for tertiary education what well, is of course an interview you do not want to miss speaking of things that you do not want to miss join us on our social media streets we have course underscore we have course at xa underscore live on twitter and on facebook we are xa on cape town tv do what you're gonna do to make sure you part off of this um big show <laughs> since it's a trend exactly well that's not all though one more thing that i need to mention we are also joined by the line of judo warriors and they're here to share a very interesting insight about the organization okay. And, of course, about the tour that is actually running on today. It just started today. I'm so excited to know more about them about and that. to find out about the tour as well. Well, that's it uh, on, a, on a nutshell. Guys, I want to say sit back, relax, and, of course, just get ready for what's trending. Yo, 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 it's time for What's <laughs> Trending, where mm -hmm. we dish you what's happening across Mzant when it comes to those social media streets, on the internet, we've got yo covered exactly so guys what's been actually uh trending on my timeline is uh, the south african idols and of course they come back for with the season 14 which is looking to find zanzi's biggest star in the music industry now the host proverb and dr malinga wow who appeared as a guest judge stole the show on sunday night with Prover proverbs impressing tweets um with high level sarcasm while dr malinga's comments and um the tweets were rolling on the floor with laughter. The duo was unstoppable with the entertainment. Oh my gosh, did you see that on, on yo, Twitter? Yo, 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 <laughs> it was trending, yeah, it was, was trending. So Dr. Malinga is so hey, hilarious. Bro. He's Damn. hilarious, guys. <laughs> but on the other side, sanitary pets are becoming a huge problem in our neighboring country is Zimbabwe. While many school girls um, are too poor to buy the sorts of basic products most teens take for granted, they rely on teachers, don donations, torn strips of cloth, plants and old newspapers. In February this year, um, hundreds of young girls and women gathered in the capital of our for a much dubbed um, happy flow campaign to demand more affordable sanitary wear. Mm -hmm. Well, um, some organi organizations across Zimbabwe actually joined the campaign, such as the Youth Dialogue Action Network. They've also stepped in to say, no, everyone deserves to have sanitary pads. Ooh. Well, it shouldn't be a privilege. And they should it, should be, it shouldn't be, be a free. privilege. It should be yeah. free. They should be free. Just like, you know, condoms are free. Now, sanitary pads should be free. It needs to be free, free as exactly. well. Exactly. But I don't know if you knew that my Nom Zamambata has been trending on gorgeous. my timeline. Exactly. <laughs> well, she is well known for her go um, being gorgeous. And as she is, you know, uh, with acting, presenting, and being a TV personality. I think maybe that shouldn't just fill up her bio, right? No. Actually, just read, uh, hear me out. Over the past couple of months, her activism and... Uh, 
um, you know, charity work has been in the spotlight. Now, the star is an ambassador for the UNHCR, who is constantly on the road trying to bring the change. And um, she recently scooped the first ever cosmopolitan activ activism issue cover, which wow. will be on the stands in, in August, which is next month. Now, she is striving as a young black woman. And uh, what, do you, what are you doing this month as a woman? You know, because, I mean, wow. obviously, it's going to be, you know, Women's Month, month in month. August. So what are you really doing as a woman this month to actually make a change out there to the world? Wow. I love her. She's, she's, she's very inspiring. She's doing amazing, man. She was very mentioned inspiring. on the top 30 and uh, under 30 Forbes list in Africa. She's doing great. Dude, I While on the other side, it's only nine days till the total shut down. Ooh. It's happening on the 1st of August where women across South Africa will shut down the country. I'm hoping to end the purging of women in Southern Africa. It is to say stop gender-based violence towards Abantu Besfazane mm. and of course the LGB, LG, um, TQIA community which stands for lesbian, gays, bis um, bisexuals, transgender, queer and intersex and accessual or allied community. Their body is not your crime. Um, sin, um, sin is a crime to the rest of the world to realize the danger is doing against women. Mm. So I feel like as a man that men also need to join the march. Yeah, definitely. Everybody cool. needs to join the march. Everybody. You yeah, join everybody. the march. You join the march. I everybody join the march. Everybody joins, joins the, the march. march. I think right now we should join an ad break because it's <laughs> so hot in here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, but yes, welcome back. You're still tuning in to Excel. Listen, man, today's show is all about the after-school programs and, of course, activities. Now, guys, um, I don't know if you know, but like six years ago, um, primary... No, not primary school. <laughs> Principals um, of uh, primary school and, of course, high schools joined in a meeting to develop a blueprint um, in the French Wook French Valley and to start up a meeting to develop the blueprint for the education transformation across the valley. Now, together with the local businessman, Alistair Wood, the vision for this transformation was set down as a partnership of interdependent schools promoting lifelong learning and, of course, wellness, which um, will improve the quality of of life of the people in French Wook Valley. Now, six years later, this powerful force has changed so many lives of young people in French Wook Valley. And there is a clip that I want to show you guys, and it's very inspirational. Uh, how about we go and check it out, and we'll be talking to the people from French Wook Valley. We'll be back. I'm Edward, and I love school. Never needed the Lord before, so you need him now. Never needed the Lord before, so you need him now. Never needed the Lord before, so you need him now. We need him every day and every night. <laughs> Oh man, we all about giving you a show that will leave you inspired. This is XA White Share on Cape Town TV. Right about now, we're talking all things the Babatani program, which was established in 2012. And tell us more about that. We're joined by Emmeline and, of course, Lean alongside with learners of the program. They're here to tell us more about the amazing work that they've done so far. Ladies, okay. it's all ladies, right? And one <laughs> and gentleman. gentleman. And one gentleman. Ladies, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on, give us some energy. <laughs> give us some energy. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. I must say, you guys are doing amazing work. It's good to see um, people across the are doing great things. So let's talk first things first. The Papatani program, I mm. love the name. Tell us about the motivation. What kicked off this bug to have such a program? Well, the whole idea was started by the Franchuk Valley Transformation Charter. Um, and their agenda was social transformation. 
But Babatani is about educational transformation. Yeah. Mm. And this is what it was all about, transforming the whole of the Franchuk Valley. Yes, mm. Babatani, we are flying. Now, if maybe you can tell us some more about the improvements that have been manifest through the program to schools. Um, what have been the improvements ever since you guys started until now? Well, the first thing, um, schools work in isolation. Mm. Um, in the Franchuk Valley, we have all the schools participating. So whether it's independent schools, uh, Western Cape Education uh, yeah. Department schools. And so the first manifestation was that people were actually talking to each other. Mm. Yeah. It started with the principals talking to each other. Yes. Um, and then the teachers started talking to each yeah. other. Yeah. And so then, um, now you have the real manifestation this afternoon mm. where the learners are actually talking to each other and learning together. Wow. And so it's a matter of, of sharing, sharing both good things but also sharing challenges. Yes. Mm. We don't operate in isolation. Yeah. Mm. We operate as the schools in the valley. Wow, mm. I can see the smile. She's so passionate about it. She's so making me want to join there, the you know? <laughs> She's very passionate about it. Exactly. So let's talk to you, young lady. Tell us about the reception. How has been the feedback from the learners and the community of Franschhoek um, uh, about, about the program? Well, um, the reception of the learners we have I will, I will talk later about the learner, um, the, the design of the learner mm. enrichment project. We, the seven sub project where we have learners that participate in that um, yeah. activities. Mm. And the perception of the learners has been wonderful. It's like you can see they are naturally um, part of that and you can see the development of the learners as well. And I also want the student learners to share because they are actually the learners that are part of the yeah. learner enrichment project yeah. Um, of the, yeah. So yes. I want to give over to Anais um, that has the mic in her hand to share with you guys. Yeah, Can you tell us? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's really been an amazing experience um, getting to know um, the other head boy and head girls from um, Front Chukai. Wait a minute. They are. You are I'm all heads. <laughs> yes. Head heads. boys and head girls. <laughs> but home. Okay. Yeah, we'll explain that um, later. But basically, we meet up all the time and um, share everything. And I've learned um, a lot from the other schools. And um, the head boy and I and our school are busy implementing some of the ideas that and initiatives that the other schools have come up with. Mm. So it's really nice to communicate and share challenges and initiatives and ideas so it's been amazing yeah. all right i i actually want to hear from the head boy as well yes. with your experience and of course now you're a head boy what have you grasped from the the program what have you learned and also what are you willing to share to other learners out there as well to join the program so what i've learned that is that it's not easy we have to come mm. together we have to share the good and the bad so we can learn from each other yes so i want to tell the other people that it's not like come together as one so mm. we can learn from each other to build each other up and come together as one to become stronger yeah mm. that is amazing i just got a signal ne, from yes. mama ne? That, <laughs> is a, that there is a student forum T can you tell us a bit about the student forum how did that come about how did it come about yeah <laughs> what is that, what do you guys really do at the student forum what happens well, we come together and we have like meetings and we share stuff that has been happening in each other's school. Yeah. And sometimes we like learn things that we didn't know that happens at other schools. And it's wow. really exciting because you um, it motivates you and yeah, it's really good. Thank you. <laughs> you like it. Yeah. I, I still want to hear from the, the learners as well because, I mean, I still remember when I was in high school. I was Were you a head girl? I, no, no, no. I was a prefect, okay? Oh, I, I was I, trying to make it as a I head girl. I was the head boy, so <laughs> I can relate right. to you guys. But um, you know it's very hard to become a leader, right? It's very hard to, to lead other people, to motivate yeah. other learners as well. How do you guys do it? How do you guys wake up in the morning and say, I'm a head girl? And you need to set by example as well. How do you, how do, you do it every day? What's your motivation? if you can take it to the head girl. <laughs> um, well, obviously this program has motivated me a lot mm. because um, sometimes at school you feel isolated, you know what I mean? Definitely. Like it's just you and you, it's only you in that yeah. role, but now we can sh uh, share our experiences yeah. with other head boys and head girls and mm. like it feels more um, yeah. comfortable and I I've definitely felt more confident mm. in um, in uh, who I am and what I want to achieve and yeah. everything. Yeah. So this forum has actually made such a big difference to oh. the way that I've um, yeah. taken Amazing. initiative in the year. You guys are so, are so smart. I want to talk about, I want to talk about the inter-school newsletter that is called The Trumpet. 
Tell us, mm. what do you guys really cover in this newsletter? Well, the trumpet is mostly about like the positive events that has been happening on all the schools in the valley, and we just want the community to like feel part of it also. Yeah. And it has actually approximately like reached over five thousand families. Wow, mm. that's huge. All right, Emeline, I want to take it back to you. Um, I know actually by implementing this, uh, you know, this program has been challenging for you. Now. Talk to me about the challenges that you faced and having to, to implement this program. Okay, well, I want to give this, this question to, to Lynn. Oh, sorry. I didn't. <laughs> yes. Yes. By the time the program, yeah. mm -hmm. so Lynn's answer would be much more. All right, let's go for it. Well, it's, it's, it's basic. Um, it's time. Mm -hmm. Development takes time. Things don't happen yeah. overnight. Exactly. Yeah. We've, we've been going for six years, um, so that's the first one. And then the other unique thing about the, the project is that it's totally reliant on yeah. donor funding. Mm. So the challenge has been to get in enough funding, making, making partnerships so that the programs can go ahead. Yeah. So those are the mm. two, two main challenges, yeah. Yeah. but um, not that it stops development at all. It will never. Development will continue. <laughs> will continue. Guys, I'm very jealous. This is such an amazing, this is such an amazing um, program that you guys yeah. do. Love the Babatani program. But since I'm a very jealous person, <laughs> do you ever, do you ever have, do you have plans of extending, extending um, the, 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 the program the across program, Cape yeah. Town? I'm very jealous. I want it to come to my community. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the research has been geographically done on Franjuk communities and Franjuk schools. The purpose was never to bound outside yeah. Franjuk. Mm. Um, however, we are happy to share the module with other schools and other communities as well. Mm. Yeah. So, yes, so we are extended. So you guys yes, are yes, definitely. definitely. Lynn, I'm so uh, interested and so curious to know, what do you have right there? I In see you've head. got some pamphlets yeah. and books right going on. What's going on right there? Well, what's going on right here yes. is that for the first time in a valley, we've introduced a common reading series. Oh, wow. Wow. Across all our grade ones are reading um, a common series. Mm. So if learners move from school to school, mm. um, they have these exciting books. Yeah. And I think I really want to show you because they're yes. amazingly exciting, exciting readers. Not the old, when you went to school, mm. the, the reader, this is what's happening yeah. in our grade one classrooms right wow, now. Wow, this, this sounds Fun good. Race. This sounds very good. They sounds look very, very colorful. So I'm sure right. our imagination very is very, is very important. Yeah. I want to go back to the learners. Guys, you've been part, you are part of the program, which is an amazing thing. But I would like to know, how has being part of the Babatani program improved your leadership skills, your leadership skills? Because you are head boys and head girls. Mm. So some, somehow, you have to be like this. Your leadership mm. skills have to be okay. there. How, how has it improved your leadership skills? To you, Magali? So I'm a shy person, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> so this program has helped me come out of my shell yeah. to be able to talk to people that I've never met in my life and be comfortable with them. Yeah. So it's really helped me to become more confident in myself and my communication skills as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Do mm -hmm. I also share? Go for it? Um, yeah, well, my experience has been similar to Livo's. I felt confident to also share um, all the ideas that we discuss um, in our forum meetings with the rest of my SLC, and like I have motivation to follow through with those ideas yeah. and like achieve what I wanted to achieve and everything. So. All right. Now, one last question that I actually want to take it to Lena as well. Um, if anyone would like to join the program, be part of the program, or maybe like you know, uh, you know, students to, to to your mentors as well, how can they go about it, and where can they find you on this uh, website? Well, our, our frontline. Frontline person really is Emmeline, so I'm going to hand this <laughs> hand this to her. I always these questions. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, Emmeline. 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 <laughs> okay, um, right. please like and share um, our Facebook page, Babatane Program. Mm -hmm. um, our website is www.babatane.org.za. Um, you can also email us info at babatane.org.za. Mm. Um, yes. All right. So we and and we recently started a Babat um, a YouTube channel as well. Awesome. Babatane yeah, yes. program. That is a yes. very great idea. Yes, yeah. yes. that's that's Bring that's how you do things. To life. That's how. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I love well, it. guys, Amazing. thank you so much. Thank Unfortunately, you. we've come to the end of the inter interview. It was uh, such a pleasure having you on the show. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. Mara, you. no, we're going to check out a very cool music video and when we return, lots 
of Siabui. this. It's an air break, actually. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to the XAY show on Cape Town TV. I hope you're still enjoying the show. We all about that hashtag Monday motivation. Join us on our social media platforms. What about now? We're talking all things the Common University of South Africa. That name sounds very cool. They are all about preparing young um, people across um, South Africa for ecology. Um, mm. They're also all about growing them when it comes to very good to become very good students, um, entrepreneurs, and good community leaders. So they're here right now. Tell us more about the amazing work that they've done so far and we also have a graduate from Com, Com University of South Africa. This name is brand new in my life. <laughs> yeah? So they are here us more about that. Guys, welcome, welcome on the welcome. show. Welcome, welcome. Please thank use you. your mics as well thank as we you. proceed. Yeah. All right. It's a pleasure having you in the show and thank you so much. Com University of South Africa. Ooh, my yeah, first thing. University. University of South Africa. <laughs> That's my first time hearing it. I thought it was a place where you go and like, oh, I studied there. So tell us about it. What is the Com University of South Africa? The Com University of South Africa is a program um, that was created for communities where there is a high dropout rate yes. in the community. Um, people who left school early, who didn't do so well in matric, um, who dropped out due to pregnancies, even students that has rehabilitated themselves from drug addiction. Yeah. So they come onto our program. They do the program with us for four months and we after we prepare them very well, I think, um, to pursue further study at TVET colleges. And um, we've got an um, MOU with Fallsbury College, all the Fallsbury Colleges, we've got the MOU, whereas they will um, prioritize to take the, the graduates from our, from our college yeah. mm. to enter TVET College in whatever vocation it is that they want to further their studies. Oh, right. We've also had um, students entering university and technical colleges like uh, CPUT mm. and UWC, UWC yeah. as well. Yeah. All right. I'm quite interested in knowing what roles you guys play in, in, in this uh, organization as well. If maybe you can just brief me, tell me what role you play and also with you, sir, as well. I'll go first. Yeah. Um, I, I've been a teacher for 22 years, Ooh, and then wow. I didn't want to um, be at a school anymore, yeah. mainstream yeah. schools. I was looking for something. So then I applied for the job because initially it was a part-time job. Mm. Um, I facilitate the mathematical uh, literacy program. Yeah. It's a course done uh, through yeah. um, Media Works initially, but now we've, we've done, we're doing our own material and we write the examination through the Independent Examinations Board. Um, and for that examination, if the students are mm. successful, with a 50% pass, then they get 20 credits. Wow. Yeah. So we do the Engli both the English and the mathematical literacy are accredited courses. Yeah. As um, I also do the recruitment. Um, all of us actually, we are a small team of 10 people oh, yeah. and we do the recruitment. I do, the, I head up the recruitment with my other colleagues. We have three managers mm. currently here. And this program was started by two ladies who are currently living in Iowa. Mm. and um, one is South African and the other one is an American lady. Mm. Um, through their goodwill, we've got a job doing this amazing work in our communities. Uh, right. And as for you, nice. sir? Well, as for me, I head up the recruitment with Leticia, actually. Yes. Um, she's my manager. Mm. Uh, so it's my responsibility then to go out into the communities and recruit students, you know, mm. to make aware of what is community, where you can find community. Currently, we've got um, two branches, one in Westlake and the one in Freigrund. Mm. Yeah. So we are currently now, if I might take this opportunity, yeah. busy yes. with recruitment. Um, our new intake is starting now in September. Yeah. So every, it's a cycle of three months, every four months, yeah. um, mm. then we start yeah. a new intake. Speaking of recruiting young people, I would love to know, how do you identify the young people that you recruit? Is it open for everyone or is, is there a selection process? Look, there is, with everything, there's a selection process. Um, what we done, because we are pre-college, Mm. We then align our requirements with the college's um, 
requirements. Yeah. So we would take students that has a minimum of grade nine and yeah. is between the ages of 18 to 35 years old. So once you meet that requ um, requirements, then we then go on to pre-screening and interviews. You know, we, we will then look at and explain further. All right. The Before we even proceed with yeah. the interview, I yeah. know that we do have an insert that we want to show you guys uh, so that you get to know what exactly we're talking about. Please go and check it out. We'll be back now. Now. I'm going to take a look at Kom University and experience what I'm experiencing right now. I want you to also come and take a look at the community that's surrounding Kom University, this campus. There's so much help needed. I think that Com University is the first campus that actually made a change. As soon as you step into the gates, you feel, if you're loved, as if you're part of a family. You meet new people every day, and it's just wonderful. I'm free when I come here. I'm at home when I'm at Com University. My second home, to be honest. The warm feeling that I've experienced here, you won't get it anywhere else but at Com University because when we came here we came with different attitudes and in a few weeks time we became as one. Okay we are back guys welcome back the name of the show is called XA we have lots of inspiration on the show that we're forgetting everything Mara it's okay <laughs> exactly. thank you so much for joining us we are of course the best entertainment show in Mzansi yep. we're still talking all things about inspiration so we're talking about the Com University of South Africa and right about now we're joined by the, the graduates, graduates. the living testimony yes. the living testimony <laughs> that there is actually a Com University of South Africa guys thank you so much for joining us as well now it's your time to shine I want you to give him the mic and speak so I want to I want to know from you um, how did you found out about the Com University of South Africa and how has it helped you as an individual so basically I was still in school when I heard about Com University but they've been there a while since 2012 I think, um, but I've just graduated, um, matriculated last year. Yeah. So, but I didn't have anything in mind to go study, or I was like losing my mind. I was like, I don't want to go study. <laughs> I want to <laughs> gap year. And one of my friends that applied to the Com University of South Africa told me like, it's a nice program. I should come check it out. And I went. I came actually late when the registration process was already yeah. done, but b because I qualified to get in and they want, they willing to help others, I got in. And that's how I joined the um, Com University, and it's in my township. So mm. I like how you said because I qualify. <laughs> <laughs> I am so qualified right yeah. now. Don't talk to me. <laughs> and as for my lady right over there, um, you also graduated as well. When you started, uh, what? Okay, so what would, when you joined the program, which um, activities or can I say subjects did you take, and also um, how have you grown from that to where you are right now? So with me, I was unemployed when yes. I started coming to Com University. Um, how I went about doing that is went into our community and see what was available. Yes. And taking it from there, what I've learned from the Com University, Com University of South Africa was mm. doing my math and my English as well helped me. So that mm. enhances me where I am now as well because I studied further. Yeah. That took me the Com Com sorry, Com University <laughs> of South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> yes. It helped me to study way to the point where I am now mm. because um, it, it's not just you end your, your career there yeah. or your exactly. studies there, yeah. they take you further mm. and I got the opportunity to go study at Fallsburg College oh, wow. yeah. and that's, that's where all things happened for me when I started studying there mm. and then graduating from there or finishing my studies there mm. until now, being um, at Glenbridge Special School and mm. um, doing my internship there and I can really see because I started um, educate mm. so that helped me to where I am today mm. yeah being with little ones and actually enhancing them and actually giving them that freedom to be the unique and different person that they want to be yeah. and mm. actually encouraging 
to be anything they want to, to be, be in life. Yeah. Mm. So nothing is stopping our little ones. Mm. And that's where I want to motivate our children to beautiful. actually go for your dream, go for your goals, and you know, and place God first because that is our guidance, you know. Mm. He amazing. guides us in everything that we do. Yeah. And don't ever stop dreaming mm. or thinking that it's, it's finished when you finish with school. Exactly. Go for that goal. Go, go for, for it. What did you are Do it. With. Definitely. Amazing. Go Thank for you that. So much. And I mean, that, that makes you to just strive mm. and strive for the best because the best out of you comes at that point. So I'm thanking oh. the Common University of South Africa for giving me that opportunity and as well for my family, my husband, Joseph, Tia, and oh, Zachariah, yeah. um, for standing so by with That's me so through this so whole much. ordeal. That's so and friends and family as well. That is awesome. so beautiful. Thank awesome. you so much. But uh, quickly, Ooh. I would love to hear from you. Um, how, uh, what kind of programs do you have in store um, to actually prepare um, for the, the learners to, to actually go out there and be work ready? Mara, it seems like we don't have time to, <laughs> for me to ask you that question, which is okay. But quickly, if someone would know what to, would like to know more about you guys, where do they go in terms of oh, social media? They can contact us on our telephone number. Uh, it's 021 uh, 824 0055. 021 824 Double five. Thank you That's so it. much. Ah, again. I'm good with numbers, eh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. well, admin at community Okay. So we're running out of time. We'll be right back, guys. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still tuning into XN. I hope you guys are actually still enjoying today's show. Listen, just to remind you guys, today's show is still actually sponsored by the Learning Trust. And we are still talking about after school programs. Now, Sinalo, I don't know if maybe you know how important it is for a learner or let me say a child to actually go through after school programs because yeah. it helps to boost them, you know, when it comes to their general knowledge and being at school to get some great marks. What do you know about after school program? What do I know about after school program? I've never went to the after school program. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I've always went to one. Wow. I'm, I'm telling lies, guys. I was a good learner. While well, guys, an after school program is, of course, an organized activity, um, a program that um, young people can participate in the outside of traditional school day. Some programs are run by primary or secondary schools, while others are run by externally funded non-profit um, profit organizations. After school, um, young people, youth programs, can can occur inside um, a schooling building or elsewhere in the community. For instance, a community um, at a community center, at a library, at a church, or at a park. Even um, after-school programs, um, after-school activities are cornerstone of con concerted um, cultivation, which is a style of parenting that emphasizes children to gaining more leaderships and mm. make sure that they do not just end things at school, mm. but when they leave school, they are ready and they have more knowledge and they're doing good when it comes to their grades. And I also think that after school programs actually, or maybe let me say activities, they, they kind of boost their understanding yeah, for children, things, yeah. you know, to understand better, more about their goals and where they want to be. And also just to be, uh, you know, uh, mentally active in life, you know, because I, I still remember when I was back in high school, I actually stayed in, in Bloberg, so I went to Bloberg and High School, and most of the other learners actually come from the townships. Yeah. So they were not able to join in the after-school school programs program because, because now I travel so far, you understand yeah. what I mean? So, but like, it, it also that was a disadvantage for them, but they also need to be created in communities so that they can help those learners to better understand yeah. their goals and beliefs and, you know, dreams. So, guys, I think we have an insert that we need to show you about the after-school programs. When we come back, we'll have a little bit with more chat about that. We'll be back. Working moms everywhere know that finding the right after-school program for your children can mean better grades, enhanced social skills, and more peaceful evenings at home. Amen. Especially during the crucial elementary school years. Here to help us understand this important connection is Linda Hassan Anderson, Vice President of Education at Knowledge Universe, the parent company of Champions Before and After School Programs. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Great you so to much. be I'm here. I'm glad you're here because, you know, this is really important to talk about because, and I think you'll agree with me, I think more and more women are, are working today than ever. And, you know, their wives, they, they have to hold down the house, their mothers, and they're working. Really? 
really hard today to juggle all of that. We have Bag yeah. Ride Show next day, taking all the way up until 5 p.m. Listen, guys, Lip Sync Battle XC is happening <laughs> tomorrow. So to make sure you go on our social media platforms and tell us which songs you'd like to see our next victim singing tomorrow. So do that um, on Twitter and, of course, on Facebook, XC underscore live on Twitter and on Facebook, XC on Cape Town TV. Mara, right about now, back to today's show. We are joined by um, the Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah Warriors. That's my favorite track. So I love <laughs> these guys that are here just more about the amazing work that they do within the community of Cape Town. Guys, welcome to XC. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank awesome. You, you, you guys full of, you're like, thank you, man. <laughs> That's what we need. We are, we are ready we to sing for you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, guys. So let's talk about the mission. What is the mission? What is the goal with the Lion of Judah Warriors? All right, so um, I think that the main objective in this entire um, thing that we're doing is to make sure that kids just say no from the very beginning um, yeah. and just say no to anything that can harm them. Um, being themselves, being physical or or mentally, I think that a lot of a lot of our kids go into or get into a a drug or a, a or let me rather say a substance abuse. Um, they go into that blindly without understanding that um, the substance can actually just make you an addict, you know, from the from the get go. And yeah. so we're just trying to make kids understand that the right thing to say is just say no. You know, yeah. that's that's the main objective. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I understand that um, this campaign started very small, right? And now it grew, and it grew. It's bigger now. Why do you think, and um, how, like, yeah, why do you think it actually made it grow so big to where it is right now? I know you guys are motivating young kids to stay away from, you know, certain Drugs. things, exactly. Yeah. Um, so if you can maybe share that with me. Yes, for sure. Um, I think it's... it's, it's for us, it's, it's very important to spread the message first and foremost, yes. because we, we've discovered that on a daily basis that the, the age group are just getting younger. Mm. You know, we, we're sitting now with a 12-year-old that is on yeah. crystal meth and, and, and smoking yeah. mandrax, mm. and we're not going to spread this message. We're not going to get. We just we're going to lose another another generation, yeah. Mm. Yeah. and because um, I think the reason why I started, you know, it was God given. Um, so the thing is, is I had a. I was very involved in sports. I made it a little yeah. bit, you mm. know, and um, <laughs> I fell into drugs myself. Yeah. So mm. hence the fact that it's very close to my heart in terms of giving back, yeah. you know, and it started small, you were right, yeah. and then it just escalated from nowhere in the last three weeks. Yes. So we, we, we have, we were invited now to Johannesburg as well wow. to duplicate That's this, amazing. to duplicate um, the program and the mm. tour. So we're going to, after this, we're going to go to Johannesburg, do 30 schools in Johannesburg. Wow. Wow. And we're gonna move throughout the Western Cape, and yeah. I think every parent cries out for help. Mm. Yeah. You know, because we just have True. to reach out and try to add value where we can. Yeah. Um, and if the community can, if we just can get involved, it is this is greater, you know. Mm. Yeah. So we, we have a, a different approach, you know, coming from the organization side, and obviously people being designated to work in the communities with the gangsters, yeah. with yeah. those that is actually physically active in drugs. Mm. So I think that is the reason why people are crying out for this help. So mm. we yeah. just decided. I like you say that, like that. Uh, we, there's a saying that a, a kid belongs to the whole entire community. Exactly. So it's always good for the community oh, to be part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. De yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so you talked about, you touched on a tour mm. and you touched on, uh, on on programs. But before we talk about the tour, I'd like you guys, to, you to tell, maybe you lady, tell us more about the programs that you guys have within um, the, the, the organization. Or maybe you can uh, yeah, give oh, it a go, she's sir. Shy. It's, it's okay. <laughs> you take it. Okay, so um, like like uh, myself said that you know it started small, and you'll never believe the amount of people that actually believes in this cause, mm. because drugs and gangsterism is taking over our communities, and True. we are like myself said we are losing a generation to it. Mm. So um, we started out. It was Ready D. It was Chad Simon, uh, Marcel, the, and then myself, Mujahid, and Krista, and B James Bimji came on board. And then in no time, Benny McCarthy said, "You know, mm, with Susanna, wow. he's he's now in it. Um, Cape uh, was it uh, Cape Town, Cape Town, Town City, City Football Club. Mm. They are in it. Um, so all of these people, prominent people within the communities, are actually they believe in this mm. cause, obviously okay. because our kids are falling prey." Yeah. To this. And like you said, 
y your kid is my kid. You know, uh, one kid belongs to the entire community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to around to different schools in the communities um, and we're going to spread this message. And the, the great part about it is it's not just singers or, mm. or uh, like a world renowned DJ like Lady D or, you know, f or amazing football players. Mm. Um, it's people from different sporting and uh, uh, entertainment background yeah. mm. that is all part of this now. So we're going out with a message telling kids that, you know, I've come from the Cape Flats mm. and, you know, I've made something for myself. A kid from Pukup, he's done it. As a girl from Mitchell's Plain. I mm. mean, uh, this is the message we're giving out. You know, doesn't matter where you come from or your background or your history. Mm. Like you are it. in charge of your own destiny. Yeah. Sure. And it all starts by saying no. no. All right. Yeah. And if I can do it, so, so can you. So you can do yes. it, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Now, quickly, let's talk about the tour. I know it's starting on today. What yeah, activities right. do you guys have on the tour? And uh, how long is it going to be running as well? Okay, it starts at six. Yes. Uh, so what's, what's going to happen is... Ready D will open the show. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have a 30 minute slot. And then we have the I minister. I love some Ready D. <laughs> 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 then then, then we're going to have the minister, Dan Plato of Community Safety. Yeah. He will have, we mm -hmm. will obviously come in and, and address the, the community. And then we, we, we go over to the different organizations. We, like, we have um, choice drug counseling services. We mm -hmm. have life changes as well on board. And, um, you know, so we're going to have the artists performing. Uh, and in that, we, we have an uh, organization as like, um, the Way to Happiness Foundation, which s s come, came on board because and they sponsored us 10,000 yeah. booklets, um, oh, wow. Way to Happiness booklets, so yeah. each and every person will get on this tour, mm. and also the Truth About Drugs booklets, so they sponsored 10,000 of that as well. Mm. So it's not the once, and this is the most important part that we want to share, mm. is that it's not a, a one-hit wonder. Mm. We, we will have impl school uh, programs implemented at the school even when the, the artists leave. Yeah. You know, so the, s the educators with the life science, and those type of things, that will be part of the curriculum, you know? Yeah, so the tour sounds amazing, and I would like to hear more about it. But we've currently run out of time, and uh, I've got one more question. If people would like to get in touch with you guys, where do they go about doing that? We can contact me directly, um, Marcel, or you can Facebook me, uh, mm. Marcel Gradwell, or 066-426-4296593, or you can come to the night show. Um, <laughs> 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 Tonight show. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's Fairmont, the high six o'clock. Yeah, okay. 50 don't get you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, awesome, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks Thank you very nice much. Show. And all the best for the program as well. It's still going to grow bigger and better. And yeah, we'll see you guys drive even more up high as We're well. We're doing great okay? things. <laughs> We're getting the signal from Mama that you guys are going to do great things. Exactly. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. That is, of course, the Lion of Judah Warriors. Mara Roy, right now, it's time for us to get down and dance. I love some music. Let's take a music breather. We'll be right back. But yes, welcome back. You're still tuning in to Excel. Listen, man, it's a part of the show where we have to sum up, close the show. It's been an amazing educational show. I actually feel, you know, so inspir inspired, yeah. actually, with the guests that we had on the show. And, of course, uh, catch us tomorrow morning um, for a repeat at 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Or else you can catch us tomorrow live right here on Channel 263 at 4 p.m. with the other presenters. Well. Yeah, doing yes. the same thing. Exactly. But a different story, different vibe. Well, guys. <laughs> A big thank you to all of our school guests for coming through. Yep. They, they are truly a bit of inspiration. We love people who come on the show and share the work that they do with the rest of the world. Also, and um, if there's anything you've missed, with the you repeat it. Social media, Sikona, Konke, Siafumaneka. Yeah, well, yes, man. Other than that, I had so much fun. You know, even though this this show was inspired by, you know, the Learning Learn Trust. Trust. Yes, of course. So we had to learn a whole lot more about after-school programs and, of course, more about education and empowering our communities. But yeah. right about now, I think nah. we do have your sister. My right? sister from <laughs> another <laughs> mother is standing by to give you a stellar performance. Her name is Krista Jones. Jonas. Yes. She's got that Jonas thing, guys. Yes. We all, the Jonas thing. I've said it. And to next time take care and god bless
gotta keep trying you gotta keep your head held high there's always gonna be another mountain you're always gonna wanna make it move always gonna be an uphill battle sometimes you're gonna have to lose ain't about how fast you get there ain't about what's waiting on the other side it's the climb the struggles you face in the chances you take in oh sometimes may knock you down but no you're not breaking you may not know it but there's are the moments that you gonna remember most yeah you just gotta keep going now you you gotta stay strong just keep pushing Be another mountain. You're always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes you're gonna have to lose. It ain't about how fast you get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the There's always gonna be another mountain You're always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes you're gonna have to Oh, boy.